What if you could have someone answering the phone for you 24-7, 365, taking payments, booking appointments, gathering information, and transferring calls to your team members all without having to ever lift a finger? Welcome to High Level's Voice AI. This tutorial is going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up your Voice AI agent so that you can get your time back doing the things that you love, the reason you got into business in the first place. Let's get started. Welcome back High Level Hustlers. You may have noticed this new thing pop up in the last little bit called AI Agents. It gives you the option to be able to configure your voice AI and your conversation AI right from the very front page in High Level. The other way to get here is by coming here to settings and then to voice AI agents. The first thing you need in order to create a voice AI agent is actually gonna be a phone number. If you don't have a phone number yet, you can come over here to phone numbers and add a new phone number. Highly recommend getting a local phone number and then getting it A2P compliant so that you can send text messages. There'll be a whole other video on how to do that. But the other thing to keep in mind here is that this needs to be an LC phone number or a lead connector phone number. If you're bringing in a Twilio number, it's not going to work with voice AI. It has to be an actual lead connector phone number. And you can get that by just adding a phone number right here. So once we have that, we just need to start building our voice AI agent. So let's get started. The very first thing here is to come in here and just press create agent. This is going to give you a lot of options for your voice. But the first thing we need to do is name this agent. Let's name this agent customer service. See, our business has a running customer service phone number. It's a publicly available customer service phone number. And we want this voice AI agent to be specifically answering questions for customer service. We make sure that we have our business name here, our language, and then making sure that we choose our voice. There's a lot of different voices in here. I really like this Samantha one. Before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there are no smiles available. That one's not bad. Another really good one is Rebecca. Let's see if we can find that one in here. There it is. Let's give that one a try. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. Make sure you go through and pick the one that matches what you want for your business. For me, this one is great. It's a really well-rounded, friendly voice. Right now, we can only take incoming calls. Soon enough, High Level is going to come out with the outbound calling, and that is going to be a game changer. It's going to be tricky because there are some laws and regulations surrounding that. However, once it does come out, I will post another video on how to configure the outbound call voice AI agent. Now you need to configure your initial message. This could be kind of confusing. Hey, you've reached Marianne Hickman. How can I help you today? The person on the other line might think, oh, I'm actually talking with Marianne Hickman. So we're going to change this to say something else. Hi, this is Samantha with... Marianne Hickman's team, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Great opening line. It's going to be able to make sure that we make it clear that they're not actually speaking with Marianne Hickman. It's someone from her team. We could take this another step further and we could say, hi, this is Samantha, a voice bot with Marianne Hickman team. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? That way we're being very upfront that they are speaking with a voice bot. Now let's go ahead and hit next. And this is where you can set your goals for your agent. You can have it collect the name, email, address, the contacts issue. So let's go ahead and say, I want to select those. However, we're going to switch to advanced mode and I highly recommend that every one of you do this. And this is where you're able to give it a prompt. And this prompt is actually 2000 words that you can put in here. This is where you're going to give it background information. You're going to tell it, okay, you are my agent 251. We're going to say you are Samantha, a dedicated customer support specialist with Marianne Hickman's team, focusing on assisting my, my, my customers. Your goal is to gather contact information and if applicable, use the appropriate tool when the caller's query matches the configured tool trigger. That's what these are right here. So we can go through and we can create all of these instructions. We can give them general rules. We can give them even scripts for incoming in for inbound calls and so forth. And then we want to make sure that we have call transfers. So we're going to have this one be upset customer. 
This is a very common one. You have to have plus one in here, and then we're gonna put plus one, three, eight, five, four, six, two, zero, one, zero, two. When should this call take place? When the customer is upset or has asked to speak with the manager. What do you want it to say before transferring the call? We can say um, something like, please give me just a moment while I transfer the call. It should happen pretty quickly. All right, and then you can have multiple in here. So like we were maybe talking about in the beginning, you can have a triage one set up that in, initially on the inbound says, how can I help you? You know, And then we say um, the options are like customer service, sales, I, ha I, need a, I need support, I have a question about my membership, and then you can build different voice AI agents for each specific task. And the reason why you would do that is because you only have 2,000 words in your prompt. And so you wanna make sure that you're using those 2,000 words very efficiently. And so we can use one voice AI agent to be able to handle all customer service problems and another one that is all about sales and so forth. And that way we're able to really, really, really train this voice AI agent. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to really fill in this prompt that's gonna give you the best outcome for your voice AI agent. So the next thing you can do is have this thing trigger a workflow. This can be super powerful because if it's something like, yeah, I wanna join your program. Okay, great. So then we would have in here join program. You would then, you could then find, you have to have it in here beforehand, pre-built and published, but you could come in here and have a workflow built that sends an invoice, sends a contract, all that kind of stuff so that they can join your program. And then have here, when do you want to trigger this workflow? When the customer states that they want to join the Mastery Hive, what to say, that is a great choice. Let me send you over the paperwork to get you started. The next thing you can do is have it update contact fields. We already configured it to take their name and their email address, but now we can have it take other things like, for example, maybe the program name that they wanna join. So we can put program name here and then choose which field we want to have it update. Um, and you know, maybe it's the link to their podcast. So I'll just put that here, podcast link, what to update in the field, uh, the link to their podcast. And then we can give it an example. So we could, you know, uh, spotify.com slash the Marianne Hickman show. That might be the URL. I don't know. But anyway, so you can have it collect additional information, have it update all of that in the contact fields within high level. And the last thing you can have it do is send a text message. This is super powerful because if they say something like, oh, I want to book an appointment. Great. It can't conversationally book an appointment yet. I'm sure that feature is coming. However, right now what you can do is say, okay, great, let me send you a text message right now that has a link to book. And then have a SMS template pre-built. You can go check that out in the marketing section where you can pre-build SMS templates that has the trigger link for your calendar. When should this take place? When the customer states they would like to meet with someone or get a speaker game plan, what to say. Perfect, I'm going to send you a text message with a booking link in it where you can schedule that meeting. Action name, book an appointment. Save. Next, you can have it trigger a workflow when the call is completed. This is helpful if you wanna like make sure that you get a text message or something like that, letting you know, hey, someone just went through and talk to the voice AI agent, and then you can also make sure that you send a email. Once you hit next, you're gonna make sure that you choose the phone number and the availability. Now, this goes back to missed call text back, which has been a core feature of High Level for a very long time. By setting up this voice AI agent, you kinda don't need the missed call text back anymore. 
you can go into the settings and you can disable that because now that you've got this voice AI, you can set this thing to answer the phone 24 seven, 365, and you don't even need to w have it wait for you to miss a call. You can just have it be the initial person to answer the call. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So right here, when you choose your phone number, you can then come down here and say, okay, I wanna enable this AI agent as a backup to the phone number or the number pool. And the AI agent will answer the call if it doesn't, if you don't respond, if you don't answer, or we can turn this off and boom, the voice AI agent will just answer all calls directly. And then you can set it right here to be just 24 seven, or you can set actual times and just say, you know what? I want this thing to answer between midnight and 8 a.m. because I'm closed midnight to 8 a.m. on Mondays and then from 6 p.m. until 11.59 p.m. because that's when you're closed and then same thing here. So we, we could then just copy this to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday now it's going to answer the phone just when you're closed between 8 a.m and 6 p.m it's not going to answer the call because you have people manning the phones because your business is open and then saturday we're just going to say this thing is available from midnight to midnight and then same thing for sunday midnight to midnight Now we can go ahead and save our AI agent here. Now that you have your voice AI agent all completely set up and configured, the very next thing you need to do is test, test, test. No way should you create this thing and then set it to go live and just forget about it and think you're all done. No, you need to make sure that you try and break this bot. Try and confuse it, see what happens. And then as you find problems with the bot, go back and reconfigure your prompt and give it instructions like, okay, when something like this happens, I want you to do this. When something like this happens, I want you to do this. By adding all of these different scenarios into your prompt and helping it know what it needs to do, you're gonna be able to help that bot be perfect for when you go live and start actually answering real customer phone calls. So let's go ahead and get a, a test going right now. High Level gives you a really great way to be able to test your new voice AI agents. And in fact, gives you 10 minutes a day worth of free testing time. So this won't even cost you any money to be able to do these tests. So all you need to do is come in here and enter a phone number. You do have to put the plus one in here. And then it is gonna call you. And I know that this is supposed to simulate when you receive, when your business receives a phone call. So the fact that this is going outbound, it just know that this is a test. It's gonna answer as if you called it, okay? So here we go. Hello? Hi, this is Samantha, a voice bot with Marianne Hickman's team. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Uh, this is Richard. Hi, Richard. How can I assist you today? Okay. I'm wondering if you can help me understand a little bit more about the programs that Marianne offers. A team member will reach out to you with all the details about Marianne's programs. In the meantime, could I get your contact information so we can follow up? Sure. Great. Could you please provide your email address and phone number? We didn't do a whole lot of configuring in here. It was a very generic setup. And so of course it didn't really know how to answer those questions, but I'm going to help you now show you a tool that will help you be able to put together a really strong prompt inside of your agent goals with those advanced settings so that you can really have this thing dialed in. Shout out to Ali Boyd Media for creating this new GPT that is gonna help you create the perfect prompt for your voice AI agent. They put this together, it fully understands what is required to be able to put together this type of a prompt and it just helps you walk through, ask you all the questions, you can upload files to this thing so you can put together all of your documents of like, okay, here's all my frequently asked questions. Here's all this, here's all that. Give it all that information and then this will spit out the prompt that you need. So in order to get started, you just click right here. I wanna create a new AI voice agent and high level. It's gonna go through and give us a quick note. Yeah, you gotta be using the lead connector phone, you know, so it's gonna ask you questions. 
what's your business, what's your goal, all this stuff. So walk through this, answer the questions, upload the documents, and this thing will eventually spit out the perfect prompt for you to be able to drop right into the section over here with the goals. It will just fill this out for you. It'll give you exactly what you need. If you don't want to use that voice AI prompt in ChatGPT, High Level does provide some prompt guidelines that you can follow here. This is what Ali Boyd Media's team used to build this GPT. So they're following all the prompt guidelines that High Level has already provided to you. And it kind of goes through and just in a very conversational way, will ask you all the questions that it needs to know in order to write you that perfect prompt. Check out the description below for the link to this GPT provided by Ali Boyd Media. Shout out to you, Ali Boyd. Love your content, love your stuff. This is an amazing tool. So be sure to go use this tool to build your AI agent. If you never wanna miss anything with high level automations, AI, anything like that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up and share it with someone else that you think would benefit from the things that you learned in this video. If you think that this is something that you could turn around and go sell to customers of your own, be sure to check out High Level SaaS program where you can build this and resell it for whatever you want to resell it for and make the profits on your end with virtually no technical experience required to be able to get started. So check that link out below to be able to become a SaaSpreneur yourself. Or if you're completely brand new to High Level and you want to get started, there's an exclusive 14-day free trial down in the description as well. So go ahead and get started there. If this is something that you feel like you would benefit from but you don't want to take the time to build it yourself, there's another link down in the description to be able to schedule a call with me. Thank you so much for the time today and we'll see you on the next one.